Hey, today we're taking a quick look at the Pearl Gray Vitamix Pro 750. This is the finish that replaced the brushed stainless finish for the Pro 750. I don't know exactly why they canceled the brushed stainless finish and introduced this Pearl Gray finish. I can kind of guess, but it doesn't really matter. This is what we have now as a choice for sort of an in-between between the black and red. The good news is, is that it looks pretty good. It is made with that plastic shell, just like the black and the red, but it looks pretty elegant not cheap you know it really pops it's really sharp no pun intended it's, it's a nice looking finish but color is relative so i want to show you what it looks like compared to other finishes so here's it next to the old pro 750s brush stainless finish you can see the pearl gray is more gray doesn't have kind of that yellowy gold look and it's a little more speckled if you look really close next to this copper metal uh, it's actually a different model. This is the A3500, but the copper metal from the Pro 750 is gonna look the same. It's totally different. And then here's the pearl gray next to an A3500 with brush stainless finish. So this is more of like a gray gold versus silver. Totally different. I will say that both of these finishes, so now the pearl gray and then the brush stainless finish on the A3500, these are the two most versatile finishes. Next to stainless steel, it looks nice. On wood, it looks great. And then even up against like a bold color like blue, looks pretty good. If you're wondering how it holds up from a noise perspective, loudness or quietness, the pearl gray, because it doesn't have that metal shell, isn't as quiet as the machines with a true metal finish. So these A3500s I showed you, or the Pro 750 with the copper metal, but the difference isn't that significant. It's small. You could see it if you measure it, a couple few decibels. So the Pro Gray isn't in the top tier of quietest or least loud Vitamixes, but it's still pretty good. The Pro Gray really is just a color. It's something to fit into the decor of your kitchen. So on the inside, it doesn't matter. And I want to show you that right now. We're going to make a must go green smoothie bowl. Must go smoothies is the term we learned from the CEO of Vitamix, Jody Bird must go smoothies it's everything in the fridge that must go so today we're using orange juice we don't normally use orange juice in smoothies or smoothie bowls but we had a friend bring it over for bagel brunch we had the other day so it needs to go we're throwing it in we're also using a couple oranges that need to go some kale a banana and frozen pineapple cores when we get a fresh pineapple we freeze the cores and those are great blended not so great fresh we'll add some frozen mango because that's a creamy smoothie bowl secret ingredient and we're topping it with a lot of ice we're using the tamper because we want that smoothie bowl consistency, like a really thick smoothie. After about 30 seconds, pour them out into bowls and we're gonna top them. Today we're using more Musco ingredients. We have some strawberries, blueberries, coconut shreds, chia seeds, some granola, and almond butter. Almond butter's never must go. I feel like almond butter is something we're actually always out of and I want more of. It never needs to be eaten. It just gets eaten in plenty of time. I need to go make more almond butter this afternoon. I will say that the pearl gray looks really nice with a big green smoothie. And you can't do a Vitamix demonstration without the cleaning cycle. Warm water, a couple drops of soap, let it run, walk away, eat your smoothie bowl. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.